Two will keep you doing well. All right, how's everybody doing? Good. Good. All right, a couple good days of practice, okay, and pads, really good energy. You know, I thought the guys were really, really fresh yesterday. Uh, we looked at the film and everything. So, um, you know, we had to clamp some execution things from yesterday, but uh, that's to be expected with a you know, little bit of time off. But I thought I had great energy again today. Uh, they're excited for this weekend. It's a tough game. It's a very, very good opponent. Uh, but the guys are really excited about the matchup. So it uh, should be a good one on Saturday. Is it unique at all that both you guys and Houston are coming off a bye in terms of maybe having that extra time to prepare, maybe have a chance to throw in some new wrinkles? Well, I mean, it doesn't happen very often where you both have a bye, but uh, it doesn't really give anybody an advantage. You know, they're probably going to have something new for, for us, and we'll probably have something new for them. And uh, But it's, uh, you know, I think it's, it's we should both be fresh. I mean, it should be a pretty energetic ball game. It's been a couple of weeks since either one of us has played. All things being equal, uh, how well do you think East Carolina kind of matches up with Houston? Well, I mean, I, I think they're older. Uh, you know, they got more experience, obviously, so... Um, you know, they have their strengths and we have our strengths. And, you know, I think that, uh, you know, our guys are, are pretty excited because, you know, playing a five or one team that's, uh, you know, one of the better teams in our conference and they're on a five game winning streak. And so I just thought, I think our guys are just excited for the matchup, excited for the challenge. How do you find energy coming up over bye week here on the road? I mean, they haven't played in two weeks. I mean, this is, you work year round for these 12 opportunities and, you know, you didn't have one last week. And, uh, you know, obviously we're disappointed coming off the UCF loss, but the guys were also, you know, encouraged by the fact that, you know, we've, we've had some really great moments in the first half of the season. We feel like we're getting better every week. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, it's just a, it's a big ball game for us. Uh, I just think there's a lot of energy around the, uh, around the locker room right now. Bruce gets the chance to go back play play at home. Uh, do you get the sense this is a, a pretty big game, an important game for him? Yeah, I think for all of our Texas guys, it is. You know, uh, Ryan Stubblefield, uh, Bruce Bivens, Audie Amatosho, um, and uh, uh, Jacoby Simpson. Uh, you know, those four guys are all from that area, and so uh, you know they're all excited about it. Uh, you know, I think the older guys, Audie and uh, Audie and Bruce. I mean, they've. You know, this is the last last season they're going to have playing college ball, and so last opportunity to play in front of a lot of family and stuff. So I think probably for those two, uh, it's even more it's even more important. How would you kind of articulate the sense of urgency overall this week coming into this this week? Uh, a really big game against Houston. It's the biggest game we've biggest game we've got this week. So I think the sense of urgency is the way it should be. You know, it's the same. Should be the same every week because every every game counts the same, and you know every every week's a big week. But uh, you know this week this is the biggest game we got, so there's there's a, there's a lot of excitement about it. Uh, today in practice, Coach Shank in the beginning got a little fired up. Um, yeah, it was nice to see the old man get going a little bit. <laughs> I'll tell him you said that. Um, what is the urgency on the O line right now? Well, I mean, I thought I thought the O line practiced really well yesterday and today, and he he wasn't he wasn't fired up at the O line. He was fired up at the scout team defense because they weren't fitting everything right. You know, we're trying to trying to give a, a you know, Houston in, in four down defenses. There's you know two different ways that uh, you know people fit things at the linebacker level, and Houston does things a certain way. And our scouts, you know, were not giving the right look, and so he got a little uh, enthusiastic about correcting them. What do you think the things are that you, you kind of better do to be successful against a team like Houston? <clears throat> well, I think things we can do better to be successful, period, um, really is offensively execution. Um, I think we've got to play aggressive. We've got to play with a lot of energy. We've got to execute at a high level. You know, if we do those three things on offense, then you know we're, we're going to play pretty well. And we're playing against a very good defense, so we'll have to play well. I think defensively, it's you know continuing to build on how we've been playing. Uh, you know, we focused on trying to eliminate the mistakes of giving us some big plays, but our guys have been extremely aggressive. We've been very, very physical. And that's, you know, the big things I've focused on this week is physicality, effort, uh, you know, playing with a lot of energy, you know, focusing on the team. I don't know if you, yeah, you can see that. Focusing on the team. What, what do I have to do for the team? You know, that's been, uh, you know, a big point of focus this week because you'll come off the bye week and then, you know, you've, you've had some time away and you've kind of been away from the coaches a little bit and, you know, you can get caught up in, 
you know, the me monster a little bit. And so uh, you gotta get your got to get yourself focused back in on the team and the success of the group as a whole. Six games in six weeks and then finally a week off. Yep. Do they look a little more fresh out there? Oh yeah. I mean it was when we flipped on the film from yesterday's practice, it was noticeable. I mean, just the thing I noticed is just how much faster we were playing on defense. I and mean, it was just like balls snapped and it's just, you know, taken off, you know, it's just swarm and uh, you know, it's uh, that's what I hope I see on Saturday. You know, if we can see that on Saturday on both fronts, offensive front and defensive front, linebacker level, you know, triggering playing downhill and really getting off the ball on offense. If if, if you see that on Saturday, then you know, we're going to play well. And, uh, you know, I'm sure Houston's doing the same thing. I mean, they had time off too. Uh, you know, we were down in uh, Atlanta recruiting and I ran into one of their players that was home home for the weekend. He was there visiting his high school coach. So they've had some, uh, they've had some time off also. All right. Have a good rest of the week.